Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, it's been a little bit cluttered around here lately. We've had a lot of record-breaking games, a lot of 4 million in quads to flex what we're capable of, and a lot of long live streams. Now, we finally kind of got back to what we know and love inside plunder which for me at this point is killing and that translates into making some good content for you guys but i do have a bit of a confession to make uh in the process of doing the record games and clipping everything and not exactly keeping on top of everything we have managed to fill the entire playstation with clips so today we're getting back to what we know and love which is a bit of content so coming up we got two games chopped down and all nicely served on a plate ready for you guys to digest and enjoy and uh, i'm a little bit proud of these ones if i do say so myself so i'm not giving too much away we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it and i hope all you guys enjoy and i hope you're all well allied uav overhead hunt mm. them down i don't know who to go for I think I'll swing around the mines. Inside the wilds of Caldera, sometimes you may find a stray razor patrolling the fringes of peak or perched upon the tippy top of the mountainside, surveying the landscape in search of prey for him to descend upon. When the opportunity arises for him to push a most wanted as it brazenly struts itself around the map unless it's headshot, Razor will go in search of these foes and attempt to wipe out not only the most wanted but the entire team. Sometimes he finds a third party that he can involve himself with and suddenly quickly regret the decisions that he has taken. While snipers take aim at Razor, he uses his trusty bar that makes all snipers fearsome to down them and then use them as bait as he wishes. Uh, yeah, I'll try actually. Hearing the distressed call of his team, uh, Razor will flap his feathers and fly to the nearest buy station, not only aiding himself but also his teammates in their time of need. When a sniper glint in the distance beckons Razor's attention, he is able to line up his bar beautifully and with no damage fall off, take him out almost instantly at 222 meters. When another one lands in and thinks that they are smart, the bar will soon teach them a lesson too, this time at 79 meters, attracting the attention of numerous teams. Now perched upon the mountainside, Razor will fly back to his beloved by station his best friend inside of caldera and sees him in this distance just peeking upon the mountainside watching and with a few shots on to scare him he eventually oh gets God, those beautiful bullets which will down him and he quickly goes through the nearest bloom that has been introduced into the game recently and pushes the full team brazenly and boldly as his teammates activate yet another advanced taking full advantage of the six thousand dollar uavs with one down and one blue that makes two down and one up who is hiding and this fellow being is terrified to come out of his little shack for fear that his team may get squad wiped of course this fear holding him back only is a trigger to razor who wants to push and eat up all the money that could be taken as he runs outside and tries to melee, he receives a trolling knife to the head for his efforts as his fellow teammate realizes that defeat is inevitable and another one approaches. Lining up the Cooper Razor quickly realizes that this is not the plan of attack that he would have wanted to begin with and reshielding to protect himself, he will take out that trusty bar one more time and he will go tap 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 and the teammate is down. The Atom Squad is not enjoying Razor's presence inside of Caldera, and another one will come up the mountainsides, quickly dispersed yeah, this is too long by to the bar one more time, proving to be an efficient gun, and not only close range, but medium range, and also long range. The Atom Squad, however, have not had enough of this bar, and continue to descend upon the Razor. One more has fallen victim, and the Cooper now gets a chance to shine with its new golden form, making it a powerhouse in the hands of a killer. 
Being fed up upon the mountainside, Razor goes to the next site of combat to get beamed from the sky, quickly replating and luring the enemy into a false sense of security. He lands some valiant shots, but alas fails to get those final killer shots. Across Caldera, word has now gotten out that a wild razor is on the loose, worse than Krampus himself, and they hide in corners, praying to avoid detection. But the golden Cooper hunts them down, even the snipers resting in the tower, thinking that they can jump on top of his head, meet the same gloomy fate. Ascending a zip line, Razor will say, How do you do to a sniper playing peekaboo with the mountainside residents? And indeed, take them down without them ever knowing he was there. Parachuting in and what can only be described as a vain attempt to seek some form of retribution for their death in another life. They seek to hide one more time while others simply give up on life entirely, no longer bother to fight, knowing the same fate will come to them either way. Pushing after a convoy truck to retrieve the precious cargo the Razor has been searching for all along. His life is saved by his brave teammate and now Razor is equipped with everything he needs. Ah, uh, tricks. The people on green ping, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, fuck this shit. Let's end our fun. Having had enough of the turbulent times inside of Caldera, raises the sides, eyes in the sky, take everybody with him. Should he go out, he will go out in a blaze of glory. The wild razor locks his eyes upon the arrows while watching the moving dots and decides he will take them down one by one while they flee the gas running for their lives and he was prepared for the situation where the gas may kill him by purchasing a gas mask and running after every single one of them they will not escape the bomb or the wild razor with the clock ticking down and only 1 minute 30 remaining in the match money is still flowing into his pockets and he feels that a personal best in season 2 is coming his way while a sniper threatens to ruin everything, he is quickly dispersed off by the bar one more time, making them hide while the down symbols give him much glee that the gas is killing people for him. He spies a bounty contract in the tiki huts of the ducks and realizes that he can still make one last grand stand before the game ends and the gas kills everybody. Seeing the bounty shoot his teammate Razor says no 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 and takes that bounty out with one final kill as the clock ticks down. And that is the tale of a wild Razor inside of the Ah, That's season two's personal death, finally! <laughs> Now, that is what happens when a game goes perfect and you can get 30 kills, 0 deaths and half the time of your life while doing so. However, it doesn't always stack off that way. This guy gets headshot, I get him, I go to revive headshot and I don't listen to the call out. Up the hill, up the hill. We're, good, we're dead, I'm dead. Oh, what? Oh, sorry headshot. I... Right. Now unfortunately, everywhere in Caldera is hills and it can get a little tedious after a while. Having thought that we'd go down to airfield to have a little jolly saunter, we managed to take out this poor sod. Sister, what are you shooting? Take the balloon and push to airfield, where we are going to annoy the team that is money bags over here. And while everything initially starts out quite well, with it down up top, a down down low, there's a combination of words, and a ghost that actually had already been downed. We think we're doing well. Let's we push this building, and this crazy stuff happens, and we get a double down thanks to a, to a party, which in some cases would really just make you want to bang your head off the wall. Giving up on airfield, we are now down in capital, and ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something, this is going to be one riveting and entertaining fight. And I apologize in advance if you end up getting earworm from this, but it's a jolly good song, and it's a jolly good brawl.
love to know how you did. I'd love, you'd love to know how I knew you were there. Your footsteps, the fact you were shooting your gun, the fact that you oh, shit. Is this? Come on. He's so weak. Sorry, TTV. Jesus. I'm safe. Oh, it's not a headshot. I got you. Thank you. Nice. We got people on fire. Bro, that's just getting sniped shit in the sky behind us. Uh shots on. Come. And yes, you did get Ooh. shot midair. You stop crawling. Don't get used to it. That works. Fucking hell, he got eaten alive. Oh! Another? Oh shit, right outside! Another one on us. Are you ready for round two? Oh my god, bro, this is all horrible. The full team in this building is holding big. I'm like opening box after box and there's no money at home. How to get UAV? Whoa, someone's on our roof. Got I him. jumped, I jumped. No, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get it, get the mercy. You're that thirsty. Do you remember I said I love buy stations? That's one way of clearing out this building. Okay. Well. Oh, don't give me this money, Jake. Just slide cancel in the crowd. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> From Wild Razor to Ferocious Razor, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you adieu. <laughs> we were definitely running that for sure. <laughs> that's that's city 51 in there, that's nuts.